Hey guys, you might see that my background's a little bit different and that's because the glare in the last video was just too much for me. So I've changed angles, it's looking okay, I don't seem to have any glare, so we'll see how this goes. Yeah? Yeah, we'll see how it goes. In this video, we're going to be talking about bridesmaid's duties. So if you are a bridesmaid or a maid of honour, then this video is for you because there's a surprisingly lack of information about what you should do or how you should kind of like approach the situation. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first and foremost thing that you need to be thinking about or doing before you even accept to be a bridesmaid is to actually ask the bride what kind of expectation she has, whether that be financial or time, how much does she expect from you? Having an open conversation about those expectations will help you out in the long run and hopefully ease any kind of wedding drama that might arise. For example, how much she wants you to pay for the wedding, whether that's hair and makeup, dress or flowers, or whether she's paying for all of it, how much time she expects from you in terms of like bridesmaids dress shopping or brides dress shopping. All of these things would be super duper helpful to know before making that kind of commitment then after you become a bridesmaid, there are duties that you need to do that most people know, things like your hen's night, the bridal shower, engagement parties, things like that, researching things, going to see site venues, trying on dresses, all those kinds of things. You know, usual things that most people know to do as a bridesmaid. So I'm just going to kind of skip over all of those and go into the stuff that not a lot of people know about. Like on the wedding day, when the bride has walked to the end of the aisle, making sure her dress looks really pretty, like in terms of her train and fixing that, and also her veil as well. You can take a couple of seconds in that time frame just to fix her dress and fix her veil. Everyone will wait for you. The bride is going to thank you for it later, and so will the photographer and videographer. It's also kind of like a sweet, intimate moment between the both of you guys if you're just fixing her dress. It's really, really nice and caring. Um, but making sure to take the time out to do that would be super helpful. This can also be applied for family photos and for portrait photos as well. So making sure you keep an eye on those things would be amazing. Another thing is to keep tissues in your bra. And that's just because somebody always ends up crying at the wedding, whether it be the groom or the bride or even one of you guys. Having tissues there just to kind of whip out and be like, yeah, here you go. Obviously with less flair and more subtlety than that. Um, it's going to be really, really appreciated to have extra tissues on hand. So making sure you have tissues, excellent point. Okay, so this one's super duper important and it's just feeding the bride, which is sometimes hard to do because they're usually full of like jitters and nervousness and butterflies in the morning that it's hard to get her to eat some food. But she needs to eat food because sometimes she's up at 6am and the reception doesn't start till 5, that's 11 hours of no food. So making sure she has like a good breakfast, a healthy breakfast, even if it's just like a piece of toast or some fruit, whatever it might be, getting something into her stomach, she's going to thank you for it later. Also, if you could pack like some water bottles or some like little light snacks, things that have sugar that can give you like a burst of energy, put it all in a bag and then place it in the car when she's traveling. She will thank you for that because sometimes you just need to pick me up. Same for you guys. You should also pack a bag for yourself or food and drink for you um, because you will also not be eating <laughs> for the entire day, unfortunately. Oh, also make sure you have straws because straws stop your lipstick from moving everywhere. So if you have a straw to drink out of, it's super helpful. Another thing is if she has a bustle on her dress to make sure you film the designer putting it up because on the wedding day, it will save you time and frustration because you have a video on how to do it. Even if you know how to do it, and it's pretty simple. I don't know why sometimes on the wedding day, it's kind of like it goes out the door. Like no one remembers how to do it, even though it's so simple. So having a video just helps everyone. And if you don't use it, amazing. If you do use it, it's there. Do you know what I mean? Like it's a good safety backup plan. This is probably the biggest thing a bridesmaid can do for a bride. And it's just helping her remember the wedding day. Now what I mean by that is that actually prompting her to consciously think about making something a memory on her wedding day so that later on she can think back to that same memory. The wedding day goes by so fast and the bride's probably always thinking about what she has to do next, where she has to go, who she has to speak to before she does so and so. 
there's so many things going through the bride's mind that sometimes she forgets what she's there for. And that's when you come in, where you can help her create memories or create a conscious decision to make something a memory so that later on she can remember it. If you can do that, she will thank you forever. So if you're a bridesmaid, I hope this has been helpful for you. I hope it gives you more of an understanding of what you need to be doing on the actual wedding day and before the wedding day. If I've missed anything though, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to read it and then pass that information on to my couples as well so that they can have a better wedding. I think the glare thing worked out really well. I don't think there was much glare in this video. So yay. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.